Hi, I'm Ben from Energy Matters, and welcome to the third installment of our solar workshop videos. In this video, I'll be guiding you through the basics of regulators and shunts. A regulator, also known as a charge controller, is placed in a circuit primarily to control the charging of batteries from a solar panel or array of solar panels. The regulator prevents the batteries being overcharged, therefore extending battery life to the maximum possible. In addition to this basic function, regulators also prevent energy running back into solar panels during the night, often have an additional terminal to control lights and loads, can be used to trigger automatic start generators and, depending on the model, can inform the user about the state of charge of the battery, the amount of charge coming in from the solar panels and the amount of charge leaving the battery. The regulator needs to be placed closer to the battery than to the solar panels. This ensures an accurate reference to battery voltage and improves the accuracy of the regulator. All regulators have terminals labelled with the wiring connections, usually solar positive, solar negative, battery positive and battery negative. When installing the regulator, it's always a good idea to have a fuse or switch on the solar connection. This allows easy shutdown of the solar array, thus preventing shorting and sparks if the regulator is removed or worked on. Additionally, it is of critical importance the cable leading from the regulator to the battery is fused at a point close to the battery. This will prevent potential fires and burns in the case of an accidental short circuit. Some regulators have different settings for different battery types. In this case, the Plasmatronics Dingo 20 amp regulator allows the user to select either a custom setting indicated by a 4 on the LCD, a generic open vented lead acid battery setting indicated by a 0, or a sealed lead acid battery setting indicated by a 1. If the regulator is being used to monitor the complete solar system's loads, which can be any device which uses energy, the charge and state of charge, a current reading device may be required to read the current flowing in and out of the battery. Many regulators have a load terminal fitted to them, although this terminal is typically only rated to carry fairly low currents. An external device, called a shunt, can be installed to carry and accurately measure extremely high currents to inverters and other big loads. The regulator is connected to the shunt through a device called a shunt adapter. Here's one I installed earlier. This converts the small voltage developed across the shunt into a digital signal that the regulator understands and uses for data logging and display. So, now you know the basics of regulators and shunts. Be sure to check out the other videos in this series. And remember, energy matters. See you next time.